Sabaha everybody, welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, Google pushed out beta two to the supported devices for the Android P beta. Uh, this is beta two, so preview three of the original release of Android P, uh, mostly to address some of the issues that people had with beta one as that build had some issues. Uh, and I'm gonna share with you guys some of the improvements they've done as far as fixing it, as well as some of the things that were concerning me with build one, so, or beta one. So let's go ahead and check it out. So the first thing you'll notice obviously is the always on display. We'll have still the icons here for the notifications. Double tapping unlocks, uh, turns on the display, doesn't unlock our device. And then of course, fingerprint sensor still works very well. The gestures are still here and they're still functional. So you can use them as well as the squeeze functionality to be able to initiate the assistant. Uh, now you are able also to add some additional customizations here to be able to turn off alarms as if there's a notification like that, you can use the squeeze functionality a little bit more. Uh, the dots are still functional. You're able to turn them on based on the applications. A uh, small swipe from the from the bottom it opens up into the Recents app. And uh, not only that, we now actually have it where we didn't have it in beta one, the ability to actually swiping all the way to the top and going into the app drawer. Uh, in the past, this was functional always from the home screen, but whenever you had an application, it always stopped midway and then you had to try to do it one more time. It wasn't a continuous movement. You also may notice that the animation is a lot better. And we also have that little segmentation between the top and bottom. So you can see this where the search bar and the recent applications you're using, as well as here, the recent tab. Uh, now you can still basically swipe between the different applications. So swiping one, when one more time takes me back, one more time takes me back. Very similar to double tapping and going home. Uh, but we also still now have the ability of actually clearing all. So again, nice functionalities. I think this is really good. Uh, and they've done and have listened to the users as far as the user base. Uh, the nice little addition as well uh, was the fact that they added more emojis directly into their system. So you'll find more when you go in directly into the, your keyboard. So those things that were also added in this actual update. Uh, the last thing that I've noticed that did come through with this uh, is the ability of actually customizing your uh, saturation level. But now you can actually see how the saturation level is being done. So under display, we still have, of course, have adaptive brightness, which controls the brightness level throughout the day. But now under colors, we have the ability of seeing with a color image that you can see how the boosted color looks, how's the natural, and of course, uh, how it's saturated, which if you've used any Samsung devices, this is closer to that level of saturation, so you'll be more happy in that level. Um, other than that, all the other options are still pretty much there. Again, the issue I had, the biggest issue at least I had with the first beta was the fact that Bluetooth was not functional as far as audio, and it was killing audio as far as my device, and I would have to restart my device anytime if I connect to something on Bluetooth and then disconnect from it. I lose audio, no sound comes out of the device. And I did test it out in my car and I did definitely make sure to connect it to a Bluetooth headset. So far, no problems and everything just smoothly, very nice graphics. The last thing I wanted to share with you guys real quick is if you go into the actual toggles right here, you'll notice that it now actually says PPT, Public Preview 3 uh, for the Android build and it says Android Beta Program. So Android 9 is the operating system, it's going to be 9 and June 5th is the actual uh, security patch update on this. Double pressing there, it takes us into the Easter egg and you're still basically just getting a P and you can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, not much has changed on this, uh, but essentially what you get every time you go in, you get a slightly different color. And I, I almost want to say now this is truly daily driver ready. Even though it's a beta, there's still some issues with the dark mode, but you can see that they want to bring it in and they're doing a lot of good work. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you for all the support throughout the years and I'll see you guys in the next video.